1.5 million years ago two different feet discovered species of human ancestors in the same place. About 1.5 million years ago on the shore of Lake Turkana in Kenya two ancient human species crossed their paths. Their fossil traces it was discovered in 2021. The researchers found that they belonged to Homo erectus, the ancestor of modern humans, and to the more distant relative of Paranthropus boise. Scientists have found the first direct evidence that our ancient relatives of two different species lived in the same place and time. This is indicated by the fossilized footprints that have been identified as belonging to the species Homo erectus and Paranthropus boise. Discoveries made in 2021 in Kenya allow for a better understanding human evolution and indicate that man like modern species he shared his environment with one of our more primitive relatives. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Science. Homo erectus has appeared on Earth 2 million years ago. At least that's what the fossil record suggests. Scientists think it has gone 50,000 to 100,000 years ago. His body was similar to Mulun Man, but Homo erectus had a much smaller brain. Knowledge of the production of stone tools and hunting techniques helped him spread beyond Africa. Traces of his existence can be found from today's England on the islands of Southeast Asia. Paranthropus boise is the previous one it's a species. Researchers believe it lived in Africa between 2.3 million and 1.2 million years ago. Due to the small number of fossils, all of his are unknown the characteristics, but it was very different from the modern man. He had a massive jaws and wide teeth, with which he rubbed plant food and his skull had bone combs on a drill, which was used for an extended hook the mandible muscles. Because of his large jaws, Louis and Mary Mickey, those who discovered his skull in Tanzania called him a nut bottling. According to new research, these two species of human ancestors lived in at the same time, in the vicinity of Lake Turkana in Kenya, which is also called Lake Rudolph. 1.5 million years ago representatives of these species they crossed the shores of the lake, probably in search of food and they left their mark in the mud. These fossilized tropes were discovered in 2021. They are theirs analysis revealed that it belonged to Homo erectus and to Paranthropus boise. Scientists think two species have passed away from several hours, maybe days, leaving the first direct evidence of coexistence different species of human ancestors at the same time and place. Previous one studies, based mainly on fossil record, suggested that different species homins lived side by side. However, these fossils are often scattered on large areas, and their estimated dates span thousands of years. In July 2021, scientists discovered Kubi Fora on the site of Kubi Fora the eastern shore of Lake Turkana in Kenya dozens of petrified footprints. After a closer look, they saw the path of the prints left by one individual and single fingerprints left by at least three the others. Kubifora is one of the most important paleoanthropological positions. Hundreds of hominium bones found there belonging to various species, including Paranthropus boise, Homo habilis, Homo rudolfensis, and Homo erectus, and also numerous stone tools. Surface on which fossil prints were found it dates from 1.52 million years ago. This formation also contains prints wavy sand, reeds, and fish nests, which clearly indicates that this area it was the shore of a lake with shallow water. This is the first snap of the one we have showing these two species living in the same area, potentially interacting with each other, he says. Kevin Hadala of Chatham University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, CO author, research. The prints kept details about the individuals who eat they left, 
including the height of the arch, the shape of the fingers and the way of walking. The discovered path consists of 13 footprints. Hadala and his team estimated, that the individual who made it walked at 1.81 meters per second, just like a fast-moving modern man. In the course of the study, the researchers analyzed how movement the feet shaped the marks left by it. They compared the depth of the foot and finger angles in fossilized footprints with imprints of the feet of modern feet people. Analysis suggests that single footprints left by what the least three specimens belong to the representatives of Homo erectus, who walked and ran in an attitude upright, like modern people. A path consisting of 13 prints, as the researchers determined, it was left by a representative of Paranthropus boise, which also seemed to walk upright. This species had more the flat foot, and the position of his big finger changed from step to step. Big and big the finger had a greater range of motion compared to the big fingers of modern people that extend outside about 10 degrees. At Paranthropus Boise leaned outwards 19 degrees in the right foot and almost 16 degrees in the left foot. This feature is exaggerated in chimpanzees and helps them climb to the trees. In the big finger there is a certain movability that goes beyond beyond what we see in modern people, Hadala says. Footprints Homo erectus and Paranthropus boise are located a few meters from each other. We can ask to assume they were aware of their presence. Have they interacted with each other, did they learn from each other? It remains a mystery, says Bernard Wood paleoanthropologist at George Washington University in Washington. In addition to the footprints of our ancestors, in the formation where they eat traces of ancient cattle relatives, three animals resembling horses and numerous bird prints, including the giant extinct the stork relative Leptoptilos falconeri. Australia approves therapies using ecstasy and the psilocybin. Australia is the first country in the world to he allowed the use of psilocybin and MDMA to treat depression or stress disorder it's a post-traumatic one. These notorious and baited drugs in many studies have shown therapeutic benefits in patients. Research conducted over the last few decades they have shown that illegal in many countries, often used recreationally, are effective in treating some mental disorders in combination with psychotherapy. These include MDMA, a remedy commonly known as ecstasy and psilocybin, a psychoactive compound found in some mushrooms. MDMA has shown significant benefits in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. In turn, psilocybin, as the researchers have shown, in combination with psychological therapy, it is the same effective against depression, which is the leading antidepressants. The scientists of Yale they also showed that an already single dose of psilocybin given to mice caused immediate increase in connections between neurons, which may explain antidepressant effect of this compound. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine found that beneficial antidepressant effects psilocybin-assisted therapy can last up to a year from the end of treatment. Both MDMA and psilocybin have also shown potential in the treatment of anxiety, anorexia, or addiction. Australia decides for medical purposes it will be possible to use and prescribe 3.4 methylenedioxymethamphetamine i.e. after just straight the ecstasy. In addition to it, it will also be available to magical mushrooms, or psilocybin. The psychiatrists will be able to do so prescribe patients with certain types of depression and those who are being treated with a reason for post-traumatic stress disorder. A similar step was taken by Oregon, where since January 2023, you can legally use psilocybin for therapeutic purposes under control he's a specialist. It is worth remembering that in Poland both substances are considered as drugs and their possessions are punishable. In Australia, 
the classification has been changed measures that consider them to be relatively safe provided they are applied under medical supervision. As one of the researchers further explained, ecstasy can help patients open up to a therapist while psilocybin can make a person feel differently with themselves, which in turn can make him gain new desires to live. The persons taking these funds will be under direct control of therapists. In the case of ecstasy, one is expected the therapy session will last about 8 hours. Sessions within 5 to 8 the weeks should be free. The cost of one such therapy will be about $1,000 Australian, or about 2,700 slotties. Opinions on the assessment of the decisions of the Australian authorities are it is significantly divided. On the one hand, the voices are heard, that thanks to this opportunity for a more normal life, people for whom the previous ones may be granted the treatment was ineffective. On the other hand, there are opinions that Australia came too far out here and that it was made a step at least five years too early. It is emphasized that regardless of the disease, it is not possible to release medications to the market after it was produced. We won't find any medication on it, that did not undergo three or four phases of clinical trials. And also the representatives themselves the state institutions responsible for issuing the decision shall be granted that the effectiveness of this type of therapy in the case of mental disorders has not been left it is further confirmed. This seems to be one of those situations in which risk is taken because for some patients, the potential benefit it can prevail over it. Especially since in the context of some of these people there is no there are currently other options available for their treatment. At the same time they will be warned warned not to expect such therapy to become a miracle for their problems. There are also known cases in which such treatment has caused, some patients have relived their traumas. The risk of occurrence side effects in this case also exist. So